Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Dan, and on today's episode, we're gonna be installing part number SEAT-688 and HITCH-14, which are our seat grab bar and our seat trailer hitch kits for the Rhino series of seat kits. Now, before we jump into the installation, let's take a look at what comes in each one of the kits and the tools that we're gonna need to perform those installs. When you open up your seat 688, you're actually gonna have all of the hardware already installed on the backside of the nuts. So when we open it up, we can go ahead and pull all these out. and then we'll be ready to perform our installation. Now let's take a look at the seat 688. Let's take a look at what comes in the kit for the Hitch 14. So when you open up that box, you're gonna have your receiver, your bag of hardware, and the trailer hitch itself. Now something to keep in mind with this trailer hitch is the load rating for this is really based on the cart, not necessarily the trailer hitch. So your towing and your load rating for whatever trailer you're using is really gonna be dependent on your cart. But the only tool that we're gonna need today is a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench. Now, if we were gonna be removing our foot plate from a seat kit, we would use some other tools, but for today's installation, we're just gonna use that 13 millimeter wrench. Now that we've taken a look at all the parts and the tools that we're gonna need for the installation, let's go ahead and jump into it. And like I mentioned before, both of these accessories are gonna fit our Rhino series of seat kits, which is our three, our four, and our 900 series seat kits. Now the 4 and the 900 series come with a foot plate that looks like this. It's got a plastic covering on it. And some of the older ones you're going to have to drill out these four holes on the front. But the 300 series you do not have to do that as the holes are already opened up and it's just a steel foot plate. Now we went ahead and removed our foot plate from the cart as this is going to make the installation a whole lot easier. You don't necessarily have to remove that foot plate but I highly suggest doing it as it will make your life a whole lot easier. So to begin we're going to go ahead and flip over the foot plate and begin. First going to install the grab bar. Before we go ahead and put any hardware in, we want to make sure that our four welded nuts are lined up. Now, as you saw, I did have to tap it into place. This is made to be a snug fit. But once you've got your holes lined up, we can go ahead and put our hardware in. Now when you're installing your grab bar, you want to make sure that you install your bolts on the four outside holes. We do that because the two inside holes are going to be used for the trailer hitch. Now the installation for the trailer hitch is pretty much the same. We're going to go ahead and take this and we want to make sure that the receiver end is facing the back side of the foot plate. We're going to go ahead and take our bolt holes and line them up with the bolt holes in the middle of the foot plate. Set it in there like that, and then we'll install our hardware with our hands, and then we'll tighten it down. And with your hardware, you want to make sure that you put your lock washer on first, and then your larger fender washer. Then you can go ahead and put it in with the foot plate. Now you've got everything on the foot plate and tightened down, it's time to install it on the cart. Once you've done that, that'll complete the installation for part number SEAT-688 and HITCH-14 on our Rhino series of seat kits. Thanks for watching this episode of Rock's Garage, and I'll see you next time.